Tim. Where are you? Come on, Tim. Come on, girl. Tim! <laughs> ah, come to collect Tip. What? I'll have to with Jerry. He said she were with you. Well, it sounds like he's lost her again. <sighs> yeah, he's not exactly the most reliable dog walker. You better get out there and find her, eh? You know, I'd find her a lot quicker if you could help. Ooh. Bacon buses to follow. <laughs> if you got any time later, I'd uh, I'd be grateful. Maybe it's about time you took responsibility for your own dog. I've seen you out across the dales in all weathers if a dog went missing. Jay doesn't know how to look after her. Boom would be better off without him. <laughs> well, think how you'd feel if it were Alfie. Oh, Mal, where's my mum about? Um, still in bed. What? She's not well? No, I think she's just fancied a lie-in. Charity sports built up, but I expect I'll be lumbered with that too. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. Um, look, me and Robert are going to come in there and have our dinner, and it's the first time since, you know, we got back together, so... Well, I reckon... I reckon she might have other things on her mind right now. What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing to worry about. But, you know, if you're coming in later, maybe you could tell her what a great mum you think she is. <laughs> Where's that come from? Nothing! <laughs> It's just, that's the sort of thing that all mothers like to hear from the kids sometimes. Right, well, if I said that out of the blue, she'd think I was trying to borrow money off her or something. So. <laughs> <laughs> and him saying that ain't gonna change your mind. I know, it's nothing to do with that. Thinking about it all night. Whatever's decided, Chaz needs to know. I'm by your side. I've held my tongue long enough. You've already upset my daughter and I don't want you making it any worse. You can leave it with me now. Please, Zach. I'm hoping you'd help me find Tip. What, after you told Jay that it was me that lost the dog? No chance. I made you these in case it takes a while. Huh? I've told you it's Jay's dog. It's his responsibility. I thought you were supposed to be training her. You can't be any good if she just run off like that. Dogs need people like you. I know exactly what you're doing and it won't work. Broke my heart when Alfie died. I'm not going through that again. Oh, you couldn't leave a little dog like that starving out there, could you? You're not going to give me any peace till I find her, are you? But as soon as I do, that dog goes straight back to Jay. Mm. Yeah, I love <sighs> Uh, excuse me. I thought you were supposed to be sick. Feeling a bit better now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knew you were skiving. Straight back to school tomorrow. But it's my birthday tomorrow. I thought you'd be planning a big party. Oh, babe, you're a bit too old for party hats and jelly, aren't you? I was thinking more movies and lager. Oh, dream on. Yeah, the lad's entitled to some fun on his birthday. See, Joe understands. You should take notes from him. Yeah, well, try telling Uncle Zach that. If you're still sick, get back to your room. Want a drink? Or are you just here to cause trouble? Let's see a wine list, please. Well, there's white and there's red. Do you think you'll remember that? Do you want to write that down? The Merlot's good. I'd say rat poison would suit him better. Hey, if we've not got Samson out, why don't we go out and do something? It looks like I'm going to have to work late tonight. Look, just got this text from Jimmy. We lost the best contract yesterday. Hey. Stop giving Jimmy stupid errands when he's got proper work to do. How I treat my employees is none of your business, Richard. You know it's Robert, and we're all bored with you trying to prove you're the big man. We haven't got time for this. We've got a buyer coming in, and you need to salvage things. Chaz. Chaz, love, we need to talk. Busy right now. Hey, boys. Thought we could have a drink together. Yep, we are still looking for drivers. Yeah, well, let's make an appointment for a me. He hung up on me. He said we're losing contracts. He's looking for a safer job. There's plenty more drivers out there. Yeah, well, none of them seem to want to work for me. And if we don't have enough drivers, we'll lose more contracts. You're getting way too stressed about it. Best thing for you to do is forget your troubles for a while. Yeah, well, nice idea, but... It's not going to help me find a driver for the Bristol run. 
And what about Dad? He's too busy with the cafe, that and fire breathing. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's me that's going up in smoke. I've already lost one client. I can't afford to lose another. Have you seen that contacts book for King's Haulage? That's got drivers in it. No, no, I don't know where that's got to. Forget the haulage. Let me relax you a bit. Leave it. I can't. Oh. Hi, Robert. Yes, I'm on the case. I'm doing my very best to sort it. I... Oh. He's steaming mad about the contract. Perhaps I'm spending too much time running round after Joe. Are you sure you haven't seen that contacts book? The kids drew all over it, so I chucked it in the bin. But... I promise you, you'll forget all about it by the time I finish with you. <laughs> Byers here. And by the look of his car, he's certainly got the cash. Well, let's hope he's ready to spend it. Glad you could come and see it for yourself. I'm sure you'll agree that this is Yorkshire at its finest. Well, he seems to have picked a good spot for it. But I've heard rumours about potential outstanding legal issues. It won't be a problem at all. I'm happy for your legal people to look at any of the paperwork they need. Are you happy to continue with the tour? That too. This will be a great investment for you, and the people up here love their sport. And you could have the Yorkshire Open on this course. <laughs> You'll be flooded with membership applications. Ambitious. But uh, that could work. Well, you need to set your sights higher with a venue like this. And just smell that great Yorkshire air. Who told them we could set that lot off? Jerry, what the hell are you doing? I'm looking to open an exclusive club, the sort of clients we're hoping to attract. I'm going to put up with that. Don't worry, I'm sure this is something that we can handle. Ready for work? You're not here, Seb, crying. Sorry, I. Oh, it's okay. It probably just needs a change, but I can do it before I go, and then you can feed him. I forgot to get his feed ready. I can't even look after my own baby. He's still recovering. It's bound to take a while, but I can feed him and change him. Can't make him miss work. Then why don't you come in with me, and I can treat you to some lunch? It'll do you both good to get out of the house for a bit. Yeah? Come on. I told you to get rid of it, not set fire to it. I'm sorry. Hey! Who's responsible for this smoke? We're sorting it, right? Oh, should have known it would be a dingle. If you lot had a brain cell between you, it would die of loneliness. Hey, you want to start on about families, mate? You're onto a loser. Because everyone hated your dad almost as much as they despise you. Just put that out. You are jeopardising my sale. And you're ruining my haulage company, so that just about makes us even. Is this going to take long? Don't worry, I'll be right with you as soon as I've got this shut down. Hey, Jerry! Have you found Chip the dog yet? Here's someone you want to speak to before you do business with Tate. He knocked his house down because someone in his family crossed his dad years back. That's a lie. And while we're on families, your mum was a complete slapper. Yeah, I watched her seducing my dad after she'd finished with yours and any other blokes you could sink a clause into. We're losing our buyer. You haven't seen Tip, have you? Sorry, I've been too busy trying to give Amber a lunch. Uh, turned into a right fussy eater, this one. Instead of making snide comments, why don't you try and do something to help? I have been out looking for Tip all morning. And I've got stuff to do for Eliza's birthday party before I can even get to work. I was hoping that you might cover for me at the factory. Uh, no. You are supposed to be working up that proposal for the Altmans. Can't Dad look after her for a while? Just get it sorted. Um, we're ready to talk. Well, it doesn't look like you're going to clear off until I do. I just wanted to be sure that you'd really thought through your decision about this baby. You're the last person I need to explain myself to about that. Oh, you're having a pop at me for being a bad mother? <laughs> well, I can't fit. And before you say that I was a lousy mother to Aaron too, I was, yes, because I got that from you. Which is a very good reason not to have another baby. You're a different person now. This is really about you, isn't it? 
You mean you're different now, so me and Kane should just forget about what a lousy mother you were. Well, I'm sorry. No can do. We both have to live with messing up our kids' childhood. Mind the bar, would you, until this one goes away. Will you please stop upsetting her? It's gonna take a break and all. You catch up with the buyer? Yes. But he seemed to have gone cold of the deal. Oh, so Robert's ruined everything. <sighs> oh, I don't know. Sounds like he was scouting out a few investments. He might not have chosen the golf course anyway. Oh, that's rubbish. Everything was going okay until Robert ruined it. And the stuff he said about Mum, about Dad, I can't let him get away with that. I can't remember the last time I heard you mention your Mum. That doesn't mean I don't care. Mum died before I got the chance to get to know her. So did Dad. And Robert thinks that he can insult their memory. I think it's time I taught him a few lessons. Mum said you were looking into Dad's window. Is there any news? Not really. No closer to working out who broke it. Yeah, well, we all know it was Reese. Uh, we can't accuse anyone without any evidence. Yeah, but Reese hated Dad's window. He wanted it taken out, so he thought it was easier to just smash it. Who needs evidence? Reese said he was as shocked as the rest of us. Yeah, well, he's obviously lying. Look, you used to be a copper. Can't you find anything against him? I can look into it. Great, and I'll help you prove that it was him. Uh, no, you won't. You've got exams you should be revising for, madam. Hi. 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 Uh, I thought you should know. Rodney says he heard someone hanging round near the church yesterday. Now, he didn't see him, but he thought he had a dog. Well, maybe Reese has got one. Now, I'll go and talk to Rodney. Really. Thanks. And there's, uh, there's something I need to show you. Oh, sounds intriguing. Right, revision. I'm sorry. Oh, there's no need to apologise. Oh, I feel like I've let you down. I mean... I, I'm sure it was just a one-off thing. We could give it another try. Maybe tomorrow. You know I've been stressed at work and... Well, we lost that client and I've only got myself to blame. No, I was trying to take your mind off all that. I thought it'd book you up, it usually does a trick. Maybe we went at it too quickly. You know, maybe if, uh, if we had a little drink and then uh, get you in the mood, then maybe you'd be up for it then. I haven't got time now. Oh. I, I thought I'd pop back for a bite to eat, but uh, um, I've obviously come at a bad time. <laughs> we were talking about a film that we'd seen. Uh, I, I, I was saying what the, what the bloke had said in the, yeah, the fil film. I don't think I've seen that one. <laughs> I've got to go and sort things out at work. While I'm staying here, it might be an idea if we had some sort of signal, like a sock on the door handle, to show it's a bad time to come in. Nicola, uh, Misty is a sex therapist. Would it help if I arranged a phone call so that she could have a, a chat with Jimmy about his um, little problem? I don't want to talk about it, Dad. Surprise! Yes. It's Ashley's window. I hope I've got all the bits. I thought we could try and mend it. I know it'd take a while. Do you think it's a good idea? It'd keep Ashley's memory alive. It seems right to do it in here when he spent so much of his last year in this ship. I suppose it would be like a kind of memorial. You could frame it. Put it on the wall. It's going to take ages. If anyone can do it, we can. I've got glue. You've got a picture of the original. And how do you think Brenda's going to feel about that? Let's get started. Hi. What's wrong with it? 
Oh, nothing. I'm just not hungry. Listen, Chaz, she's already had a mum chewing her ear off. It's like you said, she just needs to know that you're on her side. I know you're right. Oh, no. If that's going in the swill bin, can you put it in a doggy bag for me? OK. Zach, if you're peckish, you don't have to pretend it's for a dog. We both know that Alfie isn't with us anymore. No, it's for Jay's dog. I've lost it. I need something to tempt it back. If you're going to nag me, don't bother. I've already had enough of it for one day. Not nagging. I'm booking us a Mexican restaurant for this evening. Where did that come from? I don't know. Just thought we should get some practice in before the holiday. Well, Patty. Thought you might like to try Sam Club tonight's menu. Thanks. Ah, oh, Seb seems peaceful enough out right here. Mm. I think it's time for his next feed, but I think I left his bottle at home. No, no, don't worry, I packed it. But why don't you come through to the kitchen and we can feed him together? Okay. See? We're on top of this. We deserve this break. <laughs> oh, well, Gabby's obviously taking one too, but well earned, I suppose. <laughs> you sure you got all the pieces, Bob? Well, I hope so, yeah. If not, we could search again. Oh, you know, I, I think we've got enough to be going on with. It's going to take a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I reckon Ashley's up there helping us find the right bits. He'd be glad of us working together on this. He'd want to be remembered, but at the same time, he'd want us to be getting on with our lives. You know, keeping busy. Keeping busy shows that we're doing that. Do you know what? Years ago, I remember Ashley did a sermon about celebrating somebody's life was the best way to mourn their death. And that they would want the people they love to go on doing the things that made them happy. Well, that's all we're doing, isn't it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it might be a better idea if you finish this project with Gabby and Arthur. Yeah, you're probably right, actually, because, after all, it was Arthur's idea, the window. Yeah, yeah. I had a, a bag of to Yeah, all right, Bob. Jimmy, come sit down. Everything all right? Mm. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> Robert seems to think that you working for me is what caused you to lose your haulage contract, and that's why he messed up my sale. Yeah. It's not your fault. And we all know that. The thing is, it turns out I do quite a lot of business with your lost client, and a phone call from me would probably get your contract back. Would you do that? I'd be happy to. Problem is, Robert doesn't trust me, so we'd have to pretend that it was all down to you. It sounds like a plan. I've been really tough on you recently, so I owe you. Oh, this is really good of you, Joe. And if I could just sort out the haulage vat. Oh? Well, I can probably do one more thing for you. Really? Yeah, balance the books, and I'll pass it on to all my ace accountants. They'll work their magic and take some of the pressure off you. Seriously, Jimmy, you need a break. <laughs> it's my birthday tomorrow. This is, like, the best present ever. If your brother's still having trouble facing up to fuck, why don't you get him a dog? Our Alfie really helped me when I had my breakdown. And they're much better company than people. <laughs> That's a nice thought, Zach. Might be a bit soon, though. See you later. Take care. Still no sign? I'll find her. Well, if you've been out searching for her all day, then what makes you think you're going to find her now? I've got a bit of Marlon's beef. Just bait. <laughs> Looks like she's gonna have to share it with a friend. Hey! At last! Well, I can't take that one back. But, well, yeah. Better get a tip home, eh? Come on, tip! Come on! Come on, girl! To my Marlon beef! <laughs> Look Come at on. this! Come on! Come on! Come here! It's a long way to Tipperary. Come on! Good girl! Hey. <laughs> there we are! Come here! Glad you sorted it. <laughs> 
I reckon my job's safe now. <laughs> well, don't you go running off like that again. You hear me? <laughs> we know it was Reese, so why don't you just tell everyone you saw him? Because I never got a look at his face. Well, I think we've got our answer. Looks like this. It was chipped through the window. <laughs> 590. Uh, put that on my bill. Yeah, we can pay for our own drinks, thanks. Look, um, we got off on the wrong foot today, so I want to put things right between us. Come on, Robert, it's better than fighting. I'm not sure about that. Aaron's right. We ought to be celebrating. I've had a word with our client, and I reckon I can get that account back, so no harm done. OK. Thanks. Never really saw him as a fairy godmother before. Yeah, me neither. I told you, we should be celebrating. I'm nearly done with a vat and all. I didn't think it'd be that easy to reel him in. How about what this could do to Jimmy? I've made him a hero. Until mm. Robert finds out. It'll be finished with Jimmy, and you won't keep him on once he's done your dirty work. Who cares? Robert Sugden isn't gonna know what hit him. Bethany suffers a harrowing experience at work in Coronation Street, a double bill starting next year on ITV. Then more relatives battle it out to find Britain's brightest family at eight. And a new season opens for the residents of the Solana Resort as we start a brand new series of Benidorm at nine. What a Wednesday night ahead for you.